Hey guys, hope everything's going well. You guys know the drill. Smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and comment down below. Follow me on Instagram at AIH underscore sports. Alrighty, so I see uh, quite a few channels are doing topics on goats. And I also saw some comments on Brady uh, in one of my videos. I think it was the gravy train. The gravy train is ending video. And what I mentioned was that, or what I'm going to mention now, is that Tom Brady cards, in my opinion, are not going to do well during the next crash that we have. That may be surprising to some, even though Tom Brady is the GOAT. I believe that will be a good buying opportunity, but I believe it's going to be crashing down hard. And some people made an interesting point. In 2007, 2008, what happened with the Jordan cards, the Jordan cards didn't go down significantly. If I looked at the data, I think it went down about 20-25%. And if you look at Clementi cards, I did a video earlier. The high-end cards went down 20-25%. I was looking at, at some PWCC data. That data is no longer on their website because they're no longer affiliated with eBay. They used to take the price data from eBay. But I skimmed the data and it was around the 20-30% range haircut. Mickey Mantle cards, I did a similar analysis, it was down not significantly. So the bubble at the time was not in sports cards. The bubble at the time was in housing and it was in the stock market. And just to refresh uh, people's memory, in 2005, Al, not Alan Greenspan, Ben Bernanke, the chair of the Fed at the time, he had raised the Fed funds rates from my memory to about five and a quarter. Fast forward today, the Fed funds rate is at zero. And those high interest rates for the housing market, not for the housing market, those interest rates destroyed the housing market. The yield curve was inverted, which doesn't help as well. And I'll talk about the yield curve in future videos. So that didn't help out. And what then the Fed did was they lowered the Fed funds rate from 5% to 0%. So then that it eventually saved the economy. Uh, but also, in my opinion, that helped collectibles. So like I was saying, when you lower the interest rates and try to get more negative interest rates, that is beneficial for collectibles. Now, uh, what's going on is we are going to see rising interest rates as long as the Fed doesn't stop their tapering. And we're going to be slowly moving towards positive interest rates. It's not going to happen all at once. It's not going to happen tomorrow. This is going to take probably 12 to 15 months to see the Federal Reserve raise the interest rates about two to three times to about 75 basis points. While that may not seem too much, people may say, hey, they've raised interest rates all these times. And I would agree with that. But this time around, our whole economy is based on stimulus. And you're taking that away. You're taking this hot cash away from the sports card industry what's going to happen and I'm seeing a lot of content creators now don't believe the market's gonna go higher and I agree with that it's going to be more selective for players that are going to exceed expectations uh, but going back to Tom Brady cars okay so something like this was really cheap in a PSA 10. I did videos on this. 2013, 100 bucks, okay? This 100 bucks is about 10 grand. You had a huge increase in the price of Brady cards, okay? 
and eventually we're going to have a return to normalcy with the higher interest rates with the economy crumbling people are not going to be parking their money in tom brady cards they're going to probably be propping their money in possibly the u.s dollar in the short term sophisticated money is going to go there they're going to move more towards an inflation hedge and they're going to probably go into these sports cards once you see more stimulus maybe with ubi maybe with more government spending whatever the case is tax cuts etc now people may say that hey still what is the difference from 2008 to now well i'm gonna go back to the way that i look at monetary policy and it's the austrian school and that is if you keep interest rates too low for too long the whole system's gonna blow up <coughs> and this time around compared to 2005 which was only a bubble in real estate and which was only a bubble in the stock market this time around it's in everything including sports cards including crypto including the stock market including high-end real estate so this time around you're going to have all of this liquidity just vanish people are going to want to take that money away and they're going to go into in my opinion dollar denominated assets and in terms of Tom Brady cards if you if someone had bought in before 2018 2017 those values should hold but anyone that was chasing in about 2021 January, February, even if it was the higher end, I saw record sales for Tom Brady cards. And recently, what was it, maybe a few million dollars? You see records hitting all the time. Now, is the wealthy, are they going to be willing to spend all of that money again when everything is crashing down? And let me remind you, the stock market went down 60 to 70 percent. So, and it was high end stocks as well. If you look at Apple stock, and I remember reading this uh, PSA article, they interviewed this one guy who was a gold trader. I think it's KCI futures or I don't know on eBay it's like over 30,000 uh, reviews on eBay he's a big eBay store he does breaks someone let me know what his handle is but he talked about him trading the futures market and stocks so I was really interested in reading this and he compared Tom Brady to Apple stock. Apple stock has been reliable for the past few decades. And if you go back to 2008, Apple stock went down, I believe to $87 a share. And I understand the stocks has split a few times, but it was at least a 50% haircut in the stock. I swear Apple must have been seven hundred dollars a share in 2007 I could be wrong maybe it was Google I don't remember off the top of my head but Apple lost at least 50 percent if Apple was a reliable stock at the time and people compare Tom Brady to Apple stock I don't believe these cards are gonna hold up like Michael Jordan cards because like I said, the bubble was not in sports cards and you were going down interest rate wise from 5% to 0%. This time around, you're gonna maybe go down from 2% if they raise the short end of the curve to 2% to 0%. And on top of it, the bubble 
is also in sports cars this time. And I don't think a lot of people see that. They're just looking at, hey, this is what happened in 2007, 2008. So similar thing is going to happen with the sports cards. Well, I'll remind you again, the bubble was not in sports cards at that moment. So regards to Tom Brady cards, if someone had bought, like I said, before 2018, before I was getting into some of these sports cards, I think those cards will, I think those people will be fine. But anyone that just got in on this uh, late last year, early this year, those people are probably going to be severely underwater. I understand um, before they went on that run last year when they're seven and five, the PSA eight cost maybe six, 500, 600 bucks. Uh, but once he won the Super Bowl, that card went to about $2,800 and then came crashing down. Now it's what? 1500 to 1600 bucks. So stuff like that I see. And then I'll also remind you the PSA 9 chrome refractor for the Bowman, the Bowman chrome refractor, number 236. You could have spent 1600 bucks in 2016. Now, on a PWCC auction, it's over a hundred thousand dollars. That thing's gonna go down. Like if someone were to sell it, it's not gonna be sixteen hundred bucks in my opinion, because he won a few Super Bowls after that. But could I wouldn't be surprised if that goes if assuming Brady doesn't win another Super Bowl in his career, I wouldn't be surprised if that card goes maybe to thirty grand. You know, just look at the stock market crash of 2008, 60-70% haircut. And the th problem with um, collectibles, and I'll talk about this later on, is liquidity. It's not as liquid as the stock market. There's a lot of volume. And some of these sports cards, like I mentioned, have already gone down from $2,000. I showed you. It's an Nadal card. $2,000 to about $120, $130, PSA 10. It went down because people hate it now. I saw in my comment section the other day, no one wants it. And that's, I want cards that no one wants. And there's a lot of apprehension towards it. I do things that are much differently than everybody else. Even though I'm totally bearish on the sports card arena, I'm just looking at it like, whoa, here's a top three tennis player and no one wants to touch it. I'm going to take a dabble and lower my cost bases. Anyways, guys, uh, let me know what you think. Do you agree with me on my assessment of Tom Brady? I know some people are going to be like, no, Tom Brady cards will maintain value uh, because some people may say this is collectibles, it's different than Apple stock. That's fine. I'm curious to see what you guys have to say. Anyways, guys, uh, let me know what you think. Smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment down below, guys. Thanks. Bye.